the year 2015 was a very important year for the subject of climate change. The United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development was developed September 2015, while the Paris Agreement was developed December 2015. Goal 13 of the 2030 Agenda is to take urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts. The specific goal of the Paris Agreement is to limit global warming to well below 2, preferably to 1.5 degrees Celsius, compared to pre-industrial levels. Three years later, a special report was published by the IPCC that predicted global warming is likely to reach 1.5 degrees Celsius between 2030 and 2052 if it continues to increase at the current rate. But unknown to the authors of the 2030 Agenda or the authors of the Paris Agreement or the IPCC 2018 Special Report, 2015 signalled a significant transition of the Earth's climate. The transition was to a global cooling. The NOAA data for July 2022, published August 2022, shows a downward negative trend in global average temperature since January 2015. The trend, as shown here, is minus 1.11 degrees Celsius per century. Some obvious questions spring to mind. Where does the negative trend of global average temperature leave the prediction of the IPCC 2018 report, upon which the actions of the United Nations and World Economic Forum are based? And how is it that in the same month of July 2022, there had been headlines across the world Saying that, for example, Europe faces wildfires and extreme drought amid record heat waves. How can this be reconciled with a global cooling? To better understand these issues, this channel conducted an analysis of average temperature broken down by each region of the Earth, the regions as defined by NOAA. A summary will be presented at the end of this video, but first, we go through individual regions. A pattern will clearly emerge. North America. The North America region has, since 2015, been on a negative average temperature trend of minus 9.18 degrees Celsius per century. This is a very sharp trend indeed. It is interesting to note when negative trends for each region began. The trend for North America began 2010. Since 2015, South America has been in a negative trend of minus 4.13 degrees Celsius per century. Its downward trend began in 2014. The region of Oceania includes Australia and New Zealand, plus other islands and the Pacific Ocean. It registered a negative trend since 2015 of minus 3.22 degrees Celsius per century. The negative trend started in 2013. The Atlantic MDR, or Main Development Region, 2015 trend was minus zero. 0.74 degrees Celsius per century. From 2015, the negative trend in the Caribbean islands was minus 2.29 degrees Celsius per century. The trend started in 2014. A quite remarkable negative trend of minus 11.97 degrees Celsius was recorded for the East North Pacific from 2015 and started 2013. The Gulf of Mexico 
the rate from 2015 was minus 2.37 degrees Celsius per century. From 2015, the Hawaiian region showed a very sharp negative trend of minus 10.58 degrees Celsius per century, which started two years earlier in January 2013. The world's second largest continent of Africa began its negative trend 2015 at a rate of minus 1.69 degrees Celsius per century. There remain two more regions. These regions did not begin a negative trend from 2015 or before, so we will at this juncture pause to summarize the nine regions that did. Looking at the chart, there is a scenario that says that it depicts a global downward trend in average temperature away from the transitory peak of the 21st century. The trend began in North America and has gradually swept over most of the planet. But just as informative, if not more so, are the various rates at which this wave of transition is taking place. These five regions, in particular, show remarkably steep negative trends. And all regions, apart from one, exceed the global average negative trend of minus 1.11 degrees Celsius per century. With this in mind, we can now look at the two remaining regions that do not seem to be following the general negative trend. Europe has experienced a positive trend in average temperature since 2015 of plus 2.11 degrees Celsius per century. Asia is Earth's largest and most populous continent. It has experienced an increase in average temperature since 2015 of plus 3 0.76 degrees Celsius per century. But there is evidence to suggest that even these two regions are being swept along by the global wave of regional downward trends in average temperature. The supporting evidence is backed up by NOAA data that Europe has been in a negative trend since 2018 of minus 8.69 degrees Celsius per century, while Asia started its downward trend since 2020 of minus 5.52 degrees Celsius per century. There are thus no more regions to fall. All regions of the world are now in a negative trend of average temperature. A pause for reflection. This channel recognizes that the climate is always changing, so any positive or negative trend in global average temperature must be assessed in combination with a vast number of other factors. However, our analysis does throw clear and irrefutable light on two important claims referred to previously. The so-called record heatwave in Europe, July 2022. This IPCC statement in its 2018 special report. First, Europe in July 2022. Quite simply, it was not a record heatwave. July was not exceptionally hot. Here are the NOAA average temperature anomalies for Europe, July 2022 from 2015 onwards. The anomaly for July 2022 was 1.87 degrees Celsius, which is less than the previous year, 2021, and less than 2018. If we go back to the year 2000 for July only anomalies, 2022 was less than 2021, 2018, 2014, 2010, and 2006. 
More importantly, we now move on to the IPCC Special Report Statement. Global warming, it says, is likely to reach 1.5 degrees Celsius between 2030 and 2052 if it continues to increase at the current rate. This statement lies at the very heart of the Paris Agreement and the United Nations 2030 Agenda. But it is manifestly wrong. It makes the crucial qualification if it continues to increase at the current rate. But it is absolutely certain that global temperature is not increasing at the rate used by the Paris Agreement and the UN 2030 Agenda, both of which were conceived in 2015. And neither was it used by the IPCC Special Report in 2018. In fact, the global average temperature of the planet has been on a negative trend since 2015. It is not increasing at the same rate. It seems a simple matter of good science and simple common sense that in the light of the latest data, a corrective action should be made to this forecast and the plans put in place because of it. These plans are the 2030 Agenda and the Paris Agreement. But far from changing these plans, the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, and Klaus Schwab, the Executive Chairman of the World Economic Forum, formed a partnership in 2019 with the objective to accelerate the implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. An urgent correction to these plans must be made, for these plans were made from ignorance, ignorance of these facts. By the way, a link to the charts in this video will be provided in the video description. This community combines the topics of climate change, COVID-19 and the New World Order. If you would like to join our community, you can find us on locals.com. The New World Order. This link will take you directly to our site.